What's good, YouTube? Rashad here, and I am back with another video. I'm back with another movie review. I saw Godzilla vs. Kong, heavily anticipated. It was in my top five most anticipated movies for 2020. Of course, now it's 2021, everything was delayed. I'm happy they finally released it. Let's get into it. Quick note, I'm going to be breaking this up into two different videos, probably nowhere near as long as some of my other videos, but I wanted to do like a spoilers and non-spoilers because I feel like there's pretty heavy spoilers in this. For the Justice League one, you, most people pretty much already know what happens if you saw the 2017 one, but since this is pretty much an original, there are some definitive surprises, and I know some people, at least in my personal life, still haven't seen it yet. So I'm going to save y'all the trouble. This video, non-spoilers. Next video, spoilers. All right, let's talk about the plot and story real quick. <laughs> Basically, this story is just total nonsense. There is this whole concept of going to what's known as Hollow Earth. Apparently, this is where the Skull Island takes place, like the Hollow Earth I suppose made it to the surface it really seems like it's somewhat of like another dimension almost but it, instead of the earth being like this rock solid thing it's supposed to be like you go far enough below the earth's surface you reach hollow earth and it's basically an entire entirely different civilizations including giant creatures such as kong and godzilla and other things it's supposed to be like their source so to speak along with a, a bunch of other different creatures. The reason there is this increased interest in Hollow Earth now is because apparently Godzilla has went crazy, has gone on his rampage, pillaging and killing everybody in his path. No one really knows why he's doing it. They're just like, okay, we gotta stop Godzilla. Apparently there's a source of power within the Hollow Earth that will allow them enough of ability to defeat Godzilla. Now, what they're gonna do and how they're gonna harness it that's when you start getting into spoiler territory but inevitably the story does progress with them trying to get to the hollow earth trying to harness this power and trying to take down godzilla and one of the methods in which they choosing to do it is using none other than our boy king kong there was some sort of like weird time skip between kong skull island and this movie where somehow or another they captured kong I saw that movie. I don't remember them catch, capturing Kong in the movie, but I don't know. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. Anyway, they captured him, and somehow or another, now he's on regular Earth. And, of course, as you know, Godzilla's on Earth. The two of them bump heads. They actually fight in this movie several times. I'm not going to mention, like, you know, how many times and how the fights take place, but they're really awesome. Of course, if you've seen any of the previews, you know, like, you know, one of the fights is in the city and the effects are crazy. Like they're beating the shit out of each other. Excellently, masterfully choreographed fights. I was actually pretty impressed. I thought that they were just, you know, it was gonna be a lot more tame. If you've seen any of like the older movies, it's very tame by comparison in terms of the stuff they do. Very fake looking, you know, really, really interesting if you're like a purist and just like the historical uh, elements as it relates to that but definitely they turned it up a whole, to a whole nother level in terms of giant monsters beating the shit out of each other. Quick character breakdown there's kind of a few characters quite a few so I'm not gonna mention every single one but some of the highlights were of course the main protagonist Nathan Lind who's working with the company Apex in order to get this power to help them defeat Godzilla from the Hollow Earth and there's also like this little girl, I believe her name is like Nia or Naya, and she can communicate with Kong via sign language and stuff. So she's kind of guiding him and trying to make sure that that he trusts the humans in order to assist them in defeating Godzilla instead of just leaving them high and dry. However, it's not exactly a problem because apparently Kong and Godzilla are like ancient mortal enemies for whatever reason where like on site they just beef 
on site. <laughs> so there's these scenarios where they literally like Godzilla, they show like the map. Godzilla comes like across the map of the entire planet, like across the freaking ocean, just to like have that smoke and go at it with Kong. So Godzilla wants all the smoke, apparently. There's also these three characters. I kind of call them the Three Stooges, or at least that's what I was calling them in my head, because there's like these three characters. One of them is the daughter from the previous Godzilla movie. There's this scientist, black dude, who's like, kind of plays the whole kooky, kooky guy, like, who's gets in over his head and does all this research in his basement and, you know, starts going crazy and has all these conspiracy theories. He's running this podcast and all this stuff with all these conspiracies regarding Apex and Godzilla and Hollow Earth and what's really going on. And then there's the, the daughter's friend. And apologies, I can't remember all their names, but they essentially team up and they're going on this little side adventure trying to discover the truth behind Apex. And they're inevitably successful, but it was it was just ridiculous. It just didn't feel like it just didn't feel like it was good in terms of any type of story. That's why I said the story in the movie was kind of trash because they really put a lot of time and emphasis into them. I do feel as though his character see if I can find his name here, uh, Brian Tyree Henry. He was really interesting, so I'm not gonna lie, he did add something to the movie, but in terms of the story and what they were trying to go for, it felt like it was wasted. I would have preferred them try something totally different with him and really drop the other two, because he was the only one that was interesting to me. My two favorite characters were pretty much him and the, the actress that played uh, Naya with the, all the sign language and stuff towards Kong. Those are pretty much my two favorite characters. Even the main protagonist, Nathan Lind, wasn't really all that interesting. So there's definitely some weak areas in the movie where they really succeeded though were the fights. There were several major fights throughout the movie, not even just with Godzilla and Kong. There was actually some other stuff going on. Of course, the humans, it's just dumb humans jumped in and I'm gonna shoot missiles at Godzilla because we know how well that works out. Of course, Godzilla just crushes, stomps, mutilates, destroys the hell out of like any human, any any tanks, any, any choppers, any jets, like anything, like people flying above trying to do something. Freaking Godzilla's tail just comes out of nowhere, just boom, everybody's dead. Freaking atomic breath, ah, dead. Everybody just gets bodied in this movie. Even Kong is the clear underdog here. Everybody knows it. Kong don't have no radioactive abilities and fire breath and can smack the shit out of people with his tail. Like he just got these hands. They're sending each other flying through buildings and freaking stomp. Like people literally get stomped out. <laughs> in the movie like it's just crazy the level of brutalness like people were getting kicked in the face like i think they both managed to get some good hits on each other like but you know godzilla doesn't really have the he doesn't really have fizz he has like claws so it's funny he like he like slaps the shit out of kong. <laughs> like kong's up here balled up fist and he like punches Godzilla con and uh Godzilla just takes and like slaps him back <laughs> and it's like just fucking hilarious but it was just totally action packed all the CGI and stuff and just everything the way that they designed them and uh really had all the action just looking crazy they had all the people running for their lives all this freaking smoke and dust and water effects everything as far as the fights were concerned were perfect i don't really feel like i could have asked for anything better if you just want to see them duke it out then this is totally the movie for you and even though the story was weak as hell then i definitely still recommend checking it out because i enjoyed it i feel like if i had to go back and watch any of the other previous movies this is definitely the one to watch for the action alone all that said i'm gonna give this movie a seven out of ten pretty good movie however the story in it was just nonsensical it was probably the worst story out of like the the, the three main i believe this is like the third one in the trilogy of the godzilla movies 
and even the Kong movie, like that was actually one of my favorite stories. And I really loved that one, it had Samuel L and all that stuff. But this movie, it's like they didn't even really bother with the story. They were like, okay, we need to get one thing right. It's the fights or fight, whatever, if it was just one. But in this case, there's definitely several. They, they meet up and they fight a few times <laughs> in the movie. And of course they have their biggest, climat most climactic one at the end of the movie. So it was a good movie. The fights raise it up. If it was based off a story, it was to get like a three out of 10. <laughs> but since the fights and the, the choreography for the fights and all the different action and CGI and all the elements com combined together, gets a seven out of 10 for me. Definitely go watch it, especially ca casual moviegoers if you're not like super duper in the story and you know, it doesn't really matter that much to you, then this is definitely the perfect movie for you. I do feel like anybody for the most part who watches this movie is gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna post a spoiler review coming real soon, probably tomorrow. So I appreciate y'all watching. Give the video a like for me. Smash the like button, I know everybody says that. But I like the way it sounds, so smash the like button for me. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. What was your favorite fight for the movie? I like to say try to avoid spoilers if you can, at least until my next video. But did you have a favorite fight from the movie? Or who were you rooting for in the movie? Man, I can't wait to talk about spoilers so <laughs> I can talk about what actually happened and who won between Kong versus Godzilla. The underdog Kong or the this unbeatable juggernaut that seems to just always win Godzilla. So I'll talk to y'all about that in the next video, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Shalomar out.